In this video, we're gonna be doing a run through of some new AI features coming for Zoho Sign, some of these being powered by Zia AI and then others requiring a ChatGPT integration. We're gonna run through each and every one. I'll share my thoughts and kind of highlight how I would imagine these might affect you. Before I jump in, I do wanna ask if you find the video useful, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment with any questions, feedback, and additional video requests. And as always, just head on over to zanata.com and click on book a meeting if you'd like to talk about how we can help. All right, so let us jump on in. So some new AI features here coming out for Zoho Sign, like I mentioned, kind of breaking down into five key categories. So summarizing documents, extracting key terms, asking Zia, using an AI answer bot, and then doing some automated field detection. So let's break down each and every one of these. So first off, summarizing the document. So this is essentially the ability while you're inside of a Zoho Sign document to open up the AI tool, click on summarize, go ahead and say start, and then it's gonna give you a run through kind of paragraph by paragraph of each and every one of the key points of the document. I will highlight the way that they're showing this here is they're just doing this summary and then clicking sign. Obviously, I don't really recommend using it that way. I would recommend using this as maybe a starting point at the beginning of a document, maybe to get a quick highlight of anything that might be important or kind of core to that document. I don't think this is a replacement for doing proper legal review, of course, but it could kind of streamline the approach as you're going through and signing these documents. Now, this is important because when you send one of these out to your clients, they should be able to use this as well. And of course, you'll be able to use it when you receive a document via Zoho Sign for you to sign. Next up is pulling out key terms. So important note here, terms, the way that they're using it is not like specific words. It's more like contract terms, meaning clauses or specific statements within this that are going to be relevant for you. So kind of breaking them down into like, you know, if we look at that little summary, the video is a little quick here, but it's looking at like, hey, here's some key dates, here's some key language sections, headers, important components of this document. So again, this is probably the one out of the mix that I could see myself using the most, just because again, I wouldn't really trust a paragraph by paragraph summary, but I would trust this to pull out key sections and maybe small summaries of those sections so that I can dig in and look at this further. I think about we get sent a lot of NDAs over as an audit. We may have a client who wants to engage with us and do some work. Maybe we're going to do a discovery session with them. And they might say, hey, before we show you our special sauce and our processes and our current systems, we need you to sign an NDA. And I'm like, yep, no worries, send it over. 99 out of 100 NDAs are completely fine, but some of them are gonna have kind of crazy clauses in them. Maybe like, hey, liquidated damages of a million dollars if we claim there's a breach, no arbitration, no mediation, and no validation required, right? Where I'm like, okay, that's kind of a problem because you could just make a claim and then I owe a bunch of money without any, you know, a process around it. So I might actually do an extract key terms. I might see a section header for like, you know, liquidated damages in an NDA. And then I could go in and look at that and see if it's reasonable or not, but get that kind of quick look into that this section exists inside of the document. Again, I really do feel obligated to highlight for these. These are nice to haves and they are things that I think can speed up contract review or maybe focus you into certain areas that need extra review. But I do not think that either are going to be a replacement for actually reading the document. So while they are going to add some value and make life a little bit easier, always just put that asterisk and say, don't trust AI to be your legal team just quite yet. Make sure that you are, in fact, reading through these. Ask Zia, this is a pretty cool one as well. So Ask Zia is basically the ability to open up a chat prompt and ask it specific questions about this document. This is, again, one that I think is pretty interesting. What it's doing is essentially looking at the specific document and pulling out things from that document. Now, the one thing I would like to see added to this component over time that I think can make it really interesting is maybe the ability to scrape against some best practices for documents. So if we take my example from earlier, where maybe I've extracted a key term or I'm looking at the document, maybe it's an NDA, and I want to make sure it doesn't have any like, uh, you know, crazy damages clauses in it. Well, I could use Ask Zia and say, hey, does this document contain X, Y, or Z, right? And it could look through and scrape those and let me know. What I think would be a really interesting V2 that I would imagine will come in the future is being able to say, hey, Zia, this is an NDA. Is anything in here weird, 
right? Like non-standard NDA language, right? Because you get a lot of NDAs, they're all very similar. Uh, another example would be like a BAA, a business associate agreement for a company that uses uh, HIPAA related data. We get those all the time. 99% of them are basically identical and we sign them with no issue, no problem at all. Occasionally you get a weird one that just has some language in there that isn't normal for that type of document. So I could see a really interesting use case for ASIA in the future, looking at certain callouts like, hey, is anything in here a reason for alarm or is this like a pretty standard NDA document? They've got some more details on each and every one of these. And inside of this article, we'll kind of link this in the description below. A couple others that they are sneaking in here is inside of Zoho Sign as a whole. So this is you as a user. You can go ahead and use their new little answer bot inside of here to get quick answers and support requests handled. Again, this is more of just like a natural language tool. It's going to match your request against Zoho's knowledge base that they have for Zoho Sign. But again, well worth playing with. Uh, nice thing about answer bots is they're really pulling articles that Zoho has written. So you're not too worried about like hallucination, right? It's not making this up. It's pulling it from known documentation that Zoho has provided. Other little minor one here that is also kind of a lightweight AI tool is the ability to use their little automatic field detection. So as you go into a document, it's going to read a PDF. So let's say I'm going to send for signature. I'm going to hand it a PDF. It's actually going to scrape through the document, look for places where there's likely going to be data entry, right? Like, you know, blank day of blank comma blank. The system will know, hey, we're looking at day, month, and year. And it will actually go in and autofill and assign those out to different signers, right? So if you are sending documents that are not templated, this can help you speed up that process. Being candid, the consultant in me is saying, hey, if you're sending people confidentiality and NDA agreements and they're basically the same every time, probably just want to go use a template, right? And you don't really need to use uh, this tool for that. This would be more for like a one-off agreement that you don't plan on repeating. And you could just use it to save yourself some time in creating and assigning each of those fillable fields. With that, I think we've covered everything here for Zoho Sign and these new AI features that have released so far. We're going to be keeping an eye on this and other AI tools really across the suite of Zoho applications. We'll make sure to keep you in the loop as those roll out. As we wrap up, as always, I appreciate a like and subscribe down below if you did find the video useful. Leave me a comment with which one of these you're most excited to use or any concerns that you have in using AI for contract review in general. Like I've shared, I have a few, so no, no judgment there. And as always, my name is Tyler Colt, and we will see you next time.